posted this next daily dose, another one in your office. Uh, so here you are in your office. Go ahead and take your hands onto your desk and I want you to push your chest forward and really round back. You can even lean back in your chair. I'm not sure what kind of chair you have. Let's say you have like a rolly one. A rolly one you would obviously just be able to push forward and round back. Come forward and push back. Great. And then take your hands onto your table. Push your seat back just a little bit. And then from here, I just want you to let your uh, head keep dripping down. So you're going to have to melt your, your chair back a little bit. I don't know how I just said melt your chair back, but you're going to push your chair back. Let your head hang. Send your seat back. So again, just using your desk here to allow yourself to open up here through your shoulders. And then I want you to switch, switch forearms on top. And again, melting down here, sending the chest right through. Opening up through the shoulders and the upper back here. Melting. Great. And then we'll just take a slightly different variation. Take the elbows down onto the table, hands into a prayer position. Reach your thumbs back towards your, um, behind your head here. And again, melting. Keep sending your chest forward. Push back up and away from your, from your desk here. Go ahead and stand up. You have two options here, depending on what's going on. You can either just put one foot on your chair and lean forward here. That's not enough for me, so I'm going to put my foot on my desk and lean forward and pull in. Use the table, your desk here, to pull in. Lean forward. So you're just, again, the standing leg is just nice and um, straight. I'm leaning into the table. I'm opening up through my left hip flexor here with my right foot on the table and pulling and trying to get my chest as close to my right thigh as possible. You can take your hands away and pull in, standing up nice and tall. Great. And then while you're here, I know you're like, Seema, I'm in a cubicle. Um, if you're in a cubicle, you just have to get them to join in. I lay your right shin across your desk here and then just lean forward. <laughs> you're getting, maybe you just need to check your email a little bit closer, right? Get in there. So opening up through that right outer hip here, coming back up. So again, you could have done that on your chair as well. It just would have been lower, right? And then that lean down, you would have had to have been the knee, the standing leg. All right, we're going to switch sides. So you're going to put your left foot either on your chair or your table. Use the table, pull in. So again, just trying to get as close as you can. Keep your shoulders up, send your chest forward, draw your belly in. Pulling into your table, your desk rather, whatever you're at, right? And just try and open up here. And then go ahead and lay your left shin on your desk or your table and pull in, fold down. So again, just opening up here. You can send the right leg, the back leg straight, or you can bend. And actually, it's kind of nice to play with, with both of those. Let me move my coconut water. And just breathe. Great. And then go ahead and come back up and away from that. Shake out your legs for a second. And then here, we're just going to pop the right heel up, put it down, pop your left heel up, switch. So just opening up here through the calves a little bit, right? So it's not just the hip flexors and the outer hips that get tight. Your calves maybe get tight as well while you're sitting here at your desk. And then go ahead and from here, you're going to just turn to the side, place your right foot forward, bend your back knee, and just take your hands to your hips. Good time to take a phone call. Right? But you're stretching in the back of that left calf and Achilles here. So you're bending that back knee. You can even bend the front knee if you need to. And then we'll switch. Step your left foot forward. Bend your right, your right knee. Try to sink that right heel towards the ground. So you're opening up through the back of that calf and the Achilles here. And then go ahead and relax. From here, you're just going to sit back down, right? And then we have, I'm turning this way so you can see. You're going to lift your right arm up. Take your left hand on your right elbow. Send your right hand between your shoulder blades. You can reach back, try to grab your fingertips. If you can't grab your fingertips, you can grab your shirt. You could use your foam cord. Perhaps there's papers that you need to tear up and shred can pull those there as well. And then we're going to release and we'll switch sides. So you'll take your left hand up, place the left hand between your shoulder blades, reach your right hand back, 
and again, um, reaching for those fingertips. So you can actually notice that one side is more difficult than the other. This side is much more difficult for me. Um, so you just have to just keep, you know, be aware and work that side a little bit more. Right, and as you're here, keep the belly drawing up and in. Lift your elbow toward the ceiling. Try to get your tricep closer to behind your head. Nice, you guys. Just breathing right here like you're not at the office. Perhaps you can pretend you're somewhere else. And then go ahead and release. Take a moment. If you have enough room, take a little cross-legged position here. Take both hands on your knees, right? Palms facing up if you want to receive energy. Palms facing down if you feel like you just need to like leave the office because you have so much energy. And maybe just close your eyes for five breaths, right? Just five breaths. Just noticing what's going on. Giving yourself that fresh perspective here. And then float your eyes open. Have a great rest of your day at work. Bye.